And this is the beautiful Lake Malawi. But the lake is in crisis. Over the last 20 to 30 years, there has been a massive growth of unregulated fishing, which has now led to acute shortages of fish stocks. Not only has the number of fishermen increased dramatically, but the typical length of gill nets has increased from 1 to 200 metres to over 3,000 metres. At the same time, the mesh size has decreased so many young fish are now caught. The people and the fishermen believe it is the government's fault, but the government is underfunded and overwhelmed by the scale of the problem. Fish are the major source of protein for the Malawian people and over 300,000 people in the country rely on either catching or trading fish. It is not uncommon to see children or young people catching tiny fish with mosquito nets, which have often been donated to prevent malaria. Dragnet fishing or beach scene is fairly common. This is usually done with nets which have a very small mesh size and they catch everything and disturb many of the eggs on the lake bed. Ripple Africa is now working with the Fisheries Department, the District Council and three traditional authorities along a 40 kilometer length of lakeshore. Together we've developed a plan and have agreed local bylaws with the communities. These bylaws were signed on the 18th of December 2012. The main aim of the Fish Conservation Project is for the community to be responsible for managing and controlling the fishing in their area on a sustainable basis. Fish conservation committees have been set up comprising of a mixture of non-fishermen as well as fishermen. All fishermen will have to have a government permit as well as a local permit to fish in the future. Half of the local permit fees will fund the conservation committees. There is now a four month close season from November to allow fish to breed and there are also restrictions on the length of fishing nets and the minimum size of mesh. One of the big problems with fishing in Lake Malawi has been the migratory fishermen. These fishermen have often overfished in their own area. They then move to other areas and do exactly the same thing. The new local permit system will only be available to local fishermen who live in the area on a full-time basis. This means the local fishermen will have less competition and the fish will have a better chance of reproducing. Another benefit of reducing the number of migratory fishermen will be the reduced spread of HIV. These fishermen live away from home and tend to earn a lot of money. And it's not uncommon for many of them to consume a lot of alcohol and have sex with young girls in exchange for fish. It's still early days, but we hope to see improvements in fish stocks and a more sustainable future for the area. And then maybe this project could be copied to other districts in Malawi. If you've been inspired by this video, please make a donation to Ripple Africa for our fish conservation project so the project can be extended to other areas. Thank you.